Hello, my reading friends. It's Ani. I'm so glad you came to read with me. If you like these stories, be sure to subscribe and make sure to watch all the way through because I'm going to do some shoutouts at the end. Are you ready for a story? Today we'll meet an unusual sloth. Let's find out what makes him unique as we read Sam the Speedy Sloth. If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. Sam the Speedy Sloth, story by Matthew Ralph, illustrated by Kansa D.K. In the rainforests of South America deep lives a curious creature most often asleep. It naps in the day and slumbers at night. A fast-moving sloth is an unusual sight. Sloths spend their days up in the trees munching on twigs and gobbling leaves, lounging on branches from dusk until dawn. They hardly budge, except to yawn. But there is one sloth different from the rest. When it comes to running, he is the best. For Sam the Sloth, life is all about speed. And boy, oh boy, he is quick indeed. One day in the rainforest, so bright and still, Sam opened his eyes and, just for the thrill, hopped from his branch and slid down the tree. He ran into the forest feeling happy and free. Hanging from a treetop upside down was a cute little monkey, hairy and brown. Sam nodded his head and with a happy face, he said to the monkey, would you like a race? The monkey jumped and without a sound landed gently upon the forest ground. Okay, he yelled. Let's have some fun. We'll go on my count. Three, two, one. The monkey climbed quickly way up high like a soaring bird up toward the sky. Sam clambered up fast, and it was such a shame. But the monkey had clearly won this game. Sam walked for a while and arrived at a lake. He sat down with a sigh and took a small break. Then from the water, he heard something weird. With a splish and a splash, a catfish appeared. Sam paused for a moment and looked down at him, then said with a giggle, Would you like a swim? The catfish nodded and laughed. Hee hee! There's a no way that you'll ever beat me! Sam jumped in the lake with a great belly flop. Then he slowly rose back up to the top. The catfish sped off with a flick of his tail while Sam paddled slowly, just like a snail. The catfish soon reached the other side and glanced over at Sam with a smile so wide. Tusla! he yelled with a big loud scoff before he twisted around and quickly swam off. Sam found a space between the trees to let his fur dry in the breeze. In the distance, he spotted a big dark cave. He wandered right over, feeling brave. He peeked inside, cautious and slow. With a shaky voice, he said, Hello? But his face quivered and filled with dread when a jaguar reared her scary head. Sam peered down at her big, strong paws, underneath which sat her long, sharp claws. Um, he said, worry across his face. I don't suppose you would like a chase. She licked her lips and laughed with glee. Oh, you think you can run as fast as me? 
Sam stood up tall and raised his snout. There's only one sure way to find out. Sam hurried toward the finish line tree, his clumsy legs moving frantically. But the jaguar, so swift, just sped on past, her muscular legs carrying her fast. The jaguar spread out in the sun and happily said, Looks like I won. Sam thought nervously, I'd best get back. I don't want to become her snack. Later, Sam told his mom about his day and the creatures he met along the way. I guess I'm different, he said so glum. I'm faster than many, but slower than some. Sam's mom hugged him and looked at her son. There's no one like you. You're the only one. Comparing yourself to others won't get you far. Learn to love how unique you are. You're right, Sam said with a beaming smile. I'm proud to have my own cool style. I love to frolic. I love to run. I'm off again, Mom, to have some fun. Sam found out that comparing himself to others didn't do any good. He learned to appreciate the things that make him unique. All right, let's do some shout outs. Today I'm sending them out to Imogen and her daddy in Torquay, England, James Declan in Coral Springs, Florida, John, Georgia, and Libby in Orlando, Florida, Rafael Ordonez Romero in Peru, Enza and Elise in Irvine, California, Romesa and Calf Khan in New York. Toby in London, Liam Baez in Brooklyn, New York, Kennedy in Porterville, Georgia, as well as Micah and Jordan in Everett, Washington. Hello, my good friends. I'm so happy that we all get to read together. I hope you enjoyed our story today. See you next time.